Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is part 5 of stock management software. In this video, we will discuss about form start position and how to show confirmation message for delete operation and exit the application. Also, we will discuss error provider tool uh, to display some error message for mandatory field. Okay, uh, let's start the application here. You see here login form is displayed in Windows default location. We can change this form start position. Okay, go to properties here start position is there. Select center screen, then save the application, then run again. You see here now it's in center of our screen. Okay. Then product screen. This also in a default location. We can change this to center screen. We can change um, form start position in two way. We can change this method in properties or else we can do in another way. Go to stock main. Here press F7 to view the code. Okay. Here we are calling the product form. So let's press enter. Pro dot start position equals form start position dot center screen. This is the one way to specify form start position. Um, let's see. Okay, now um, it's in center of our screen. Okay, next uh, what we will do. Um, when I click add button, there is no error message for mandatory field, uh, product code and a product name for that. Go to this product screen. Here click on add button. Here we are using validation function. Go to here. Here instead of this code, I will use uh, I just modify this code to show the error message. Before that, I have to use um, error provider tool for this form double click okay then go to code here okay first one uh, if text box one that means product code is, uh, is null or empty means it will throw show you error message product code required second product name so uh, in the text box too it will show you error message product name required if combo box selected index equal minus one means um, it will show you error message select status uh, if else it uh, result will be true so now um, we don't note this sorry let's remove this code save this and run the application again go to products okay when click add button you can see here um, the error message product code required if I enter something then uh, click add so again uh, product name required error message okay okay then click add button so now record is inserted successfully okay click this if I click edit button you can see here without any confirmation message the data is deleted for that um, we have to show a confirmation message for every delete operation go to delete button here we have to add the confirmation message Here I am adding dialog result, a variable dialog result. Here I am showing the message message box dot show. Are you sure want to delete? This is the title of that dialog box. Here we are using two buttons with yes no. If uh, dialog result is yes means the um, delete operation will work. Otherwise it won't work. Okay, let's see now. go to products here i enter some code and litter 
then had okay if i enter this number then click delete button it's asking confirmation message okay if i click no the delete operation can't do if i click yes the record will be deleted let's see you see the record is deleted successfully okay now you can see here when i click this um, close button here it won't ask any confirmation message from us okay we have to show a confirmation message for this form closing for that in stock main here form closing here instead of this application dot exist i am using this code here also i am using dialog result variable result and then uh, i am showing the message are you sure you want to exit okay here message title will be exit we have two buttons with a yes, no and the message box icon will be question okay if dialog result uh, yes means application will be closed application dot exist if a uh, dialog result uh, will be no means um, it won't close the application okay let's see start the application when i close this application it's asking confirmation message here we have a header exist here we have icon question mark here we have the message confirmation message are you sure you want to exit when i click no so it's in still process okay again when i click yes it's asking two times okay for that we have to create a bool variable here bool close equals by default it will be true okay if close Here I declared bool variable close equals true. When uh, it's true, then only it, this functionality works. Okay. If I assign this close variable as false when dialog result is yes. Okay. Let's do. Sorry. Let's check it now. Login. Let's close this application. When I click S, yes, um, okay. It's exiting fine. Okay, guys. Now, thank you for watching this one. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you there in next video.